along, Charlie. <laughs> Another double, Charlie. <laughs> Looks like we got lucky. You know, I always have trouble with spells for locating people. How'd you do that? Well, I, I went up to Larry, and I put my right hand on his right shoulder, and I said the magic words. Yeah, what, what were they? I said, Larry, do you have any idea what Sylvester's favorite hangout is? Is there any way to talk to your uncle? <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. Another one of the same, Charlie. It's hard to believe they only met an hour ago. You know how fast bunnies work. Alvin! Uh, oh, uh... Oh, uh, hi, Anita. Alvin, I haven't seen you around here since... since... That's right. Too many memories. That must be the girl he's carrying the torch for. This could be the solution to everything. You haven't called me lately. Well, you didn't come to the phone, so what was the point? Well, anyway, I can see why you haven't. Oh, uh, this is Bunny. Bunny, Anita. Hi. Hi. Well, I, I've got to go. But if you do decide to call again, I promise to answer. <laughs> So much for that solution. Why don't we forget this whole mess and crash the party in Tasmania? Uncle Arthur, you have no sense of moral responsibility. One more word and I'm going to splint. But... That's the word. <laughs> Uncle Arthur, you come back here and pull yourself together. See you, Charlie. Mrs. Stevens, I'm, I'm sorry we left without saying goodbye, but... That's perfectly all right. I understand. But I'm awfully glad I ran into you because I want you to come for dinner tonight. Dinner? Tonight? That's very sweet of you, but actually... You have to come. I'm serving a vegetarian dinner in Bunny's honor. In my honor? Mm-hmm. We're going to have a uh, carrot ring... Oh, and hearts of lettuce salad. Oh, that sounds marvy, doesn't it? And spinach souffle. 